Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever. I haven't been posting here on my channel. And also if you are my followers on Instagram, thank you for keeping up on my plans. And if you are not my followers yet, you can always check my username here and add me on my page. And to some of you who don't know me, my name is Abel and I'm an arid enthusiast. I collect plants, mostly indoor plants. I imported them from Ecuador, Indonesia, or Thailand. So yeah, guys, I wanted to share with you some of the updates of my plants now because it's been a long journey for my plants and I have a lot of updates that I wanted to show with you. You guys can tell here on the side, in this corner, I've got some chaos plants going on in here. We will be talking about my Singonium plants in the next coming videos, I'll be sharing with you most of my Ethereums that I'm having a hard time catching up with. I've had issues going on with them. So let's start with the talking. So to some of you who may not know, I am mostly posting my plans on my Instagram page. So you guys can see my plans there, my updates here and there. But today, I'm going to be talking about my Singonium plans. It's been it's been a long journey for this one and I wanted to share with you what's going on with them. I have my Singonium Podophyllum variegata and my Mojito that I wanted to share with you and how they look when they get bigger or matured enough. What are the substrate that I'm using and how I'm keeping it at this time of the year, the season rather because we are here in winter time and you know, I'm having a hard time keeping up with them because I'm always busy. My hands are always busy with kids and life. I want to show you clothes. At the moment, I'm not really quite sure what to do because they're all falling off. It's not really latching well onto the pole that I made. But you can always use this type of um, tape to hold on to the pole and some of them the roots are latching pretty well but on top you guys can tell that that's the very top of the moss that I made for the variegata and the variegation it varies I like it that way but I'm keeping it under my grow light right there I don't have any problem with this one this one because I've forgotten to water it for almost two months, you guys, for almost two months and still not giving me any problem. This one is a pure variegation white, that's why it has to die, which is expected. This one, it's um, dehydrated, that's why it's like this. And you guys, as you can see, for this one, it's a pretty variegation. I don't know how you can... Hopefully you can see that clearly. It's be very beautiful. And this one, this leaf, I burned it on the uh, grow light. So don't ever ever get it closed. I forgot. This plant was on the wall, on the wall, and I forgot to, to check them for quite a while. And also this one as well. I hope I can show. Ooh, oh my goodness. So you guys, this is the close-up of my Syngonium Podophyllum. This is the Vergata one. And on the back, that's the Mojito. And it's pretty chaos on top because it's growing pretty well and they're not really latching onto the pole that I made. I need to make a longer one. But for now, you know, I'm keeping it like this. Because it's winter time, I don't want to disturb them. These plants, I actually changed the substrate from coco core to ponds. I've uh, changed them... I forgot what month was it. I got it from one of the seller from Toronto. And yes, it's since then, it's pretty happy. It's pretty long now and I don't want to disturb it. It keeps on falling and there, there's no... It's not latching good on the pole, so I don't want to disturb it. So this one, some kind of stress because of the sunburn. 
but you guys can tell wherever the light is some of the leaves are facing on that side and it's giving me a good variegation like for example these ones i hope you guys can see it and on top as well and this one over here i don't know what to do i don't want to propagate it because i've been propagating many times and i don't know what to do with them so i'm leaving it as it is so let's move on into my syngonium mojito i'm gonna move this one closely because i don't want to break it okay so this is my syngonium mojito this is a stress leaf but other than that i don't have any problem those this one is the mature leaf if you guys can see and it's pretty big i don't even know how to show it properly there and of course as well this fell off because um there's no good support on top so that's the leaf you guys can see that's how it looks like if if your mojito gets matured enough it will give you three lobes like this compared to this one and of course it varies with the variegation as well because they need a good lightning but these plants can thrive anywhere you place them even if you place them in the water they will thrive however it's not really going to give you a good uh, amount of variegation if you place it in the water so just keep it like this i am keeping it into my my uh, what you call this one ponds and a bit of the lacca i think oh yeah i have a lacca in here i mix it with lacca and i have a lot of good variegation here in the bottom as well but for this one it has to go like i said because it's pure white and it is expected so if you guys have a variegation and if you're not seeing any green or the chlorophyll they called you know they're not going to survive for too long but some it will but for my case that's what i'm always experiencing so for this one here this one has good variegation on it and I don't know if you can see that's a new leaf that's almost spreading out and that's a matured one as well so pretty much that's what i've been dealing with these plants i'm not i'm not really watering them often however if you are using ponds and laka you must really put water in it because it will give you dehydrated leaf like this so this one I have had trouble with because I forgot to water it for two months. And other than that, like I said, I don't have any problem. If you guys can tell, my moss pole is pretty ugly. I don't know how to keep them happy. But I don't want to disturb it because you guys can tell the, um, the, the root is latching pretty well inside. I can always chop it, I can always propagate it, but for now, I'm leaving it as it is. We will see what's going to happen in next year, summertime or early spring. So yes, that's my mojito and my Syngonium podophyllum variegata. So guys, that's my Syngonium Podophyllum Variegata and my Mojito. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Unfortunately, I couldn't give you a good look from head to toe because it's quite tall. But as you guys can tell, I'm keeping it here under grow light. And these plants, like I said, it will grow pretty good in every place you, you place it in your home as long as there is a lit or bright area in your um house in the place that you're going to put this on so i don't know um i might have to propagate it and place it in the water for now or i'll just keep it like this for the meantime i'm keeping it in ponds this one in ponds and a bit of leka on top 
and the other one is pure ponds and to my fertilizer i'm still using my osmo code the uh so the slow release fertilizer because that's the safest fertilizer i've ever had for my plants and i don't have any problem with it especially for burning or scorching the leaves or something like that i don't have any problem so thank you guys for watching for this video and i hope you guys enjoy if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also like i said Follow me on my Instagram, Abel Splang. And if you're not my subscriber yet, please do so follow me so you guys can uh, get updated with my videos that I will be posting hopefully, you know, soon. So yeah, if you guys don't know, I have some of the videos, the old videos as well. You, you can always watch it. Always browse my old videos for these plants. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.